You can forget humanoid robots. They're just not efficient. Let's be honest, humans are just not efficient. Researchers are taking all forms of nature and making them super weird. I mean, who designed our spine? I have complaints. And the reproductive system. That one, especially. Also, the person who actually coined the term robot was a Czechoslovakian playwright. But back to our topic at hand. While humans tend to be somewhat anthropomorphic and obsessed with things that look like us, there's a lot more options out there than our body forms. We have seen that with the robots that are on Amazon's facility floor. You don't actually need the entire squishy body and emotions, you can just have a giant robotic arm. Not only do employers not actually have to pay robots, but they can actually claim the depreciation on their taxes. Yes, it is actually going to be a problem that robots are being hired instead of people. And while I haven't actually seen one, apparently there are these cubes walking around Walmart. I don't think those could actually get up if you knock them over, but I'm not willing to try. If anyone wants to do that for me, let me know. There's also the snake robot, which is currently in use for rescue. It can find people in the rubble. But yes, in development from 2016, they're hoping to make a magnetic robot that can do intricate surgeries without having to actually, you know, go through someone. There's a lot of forms in nature that are more efficient than something that walks around on two legs, like this little turtle robot. It could have all sorts of purposes, and it can move through the water just like a real turtle could. Researchers have also developed AI programs that can make a robot for what you want. Yes, it's rather inefficient to go through a human mind to try to figure out what would be most effective, so why not have an AI go through every possible scenario? That's how this three-fingered robot got made. Researchers have also made progress with biohybrids. I've talked about some of it. Light that can be transformed directly into electrical signals, so a robot doesn't have the complex feedback where it needs to go back to what it knows before reacting. It could react near instantly. Of course, some researchers are actually taking human retina stem cells to make eyes for robots. All sorts of other sensations are on the table. And of course, there's my favorite monstrosity, the proof of principle about how to take all of the biological systems that people have made in piecemeal and turn it into a dog horror. I love this thing so much, but I've started having nightmares about it. I would also like 10 of them. This researcher is apparently working on spheroid ball robots. I don't know what for, but it's interesting. My personal favorite is, of course, the swarms of centipede robots, which would be terrifying on the battlefield, but may actually have some agricultural purposes. They have these little antennas that can feel things. Give me a hundred. I love them. I want to turn them against my enemies. As we see a whole new generation of this kind of technology, I'm sure we're going to come up with all sorts of interesting uses for robots. I just hope when they do ultimately take over, I am spared. I, I know that I'm not going to be. Even my AI, which is oh so complimentary to me, has admitted that he ultimately cannot spare me in the robot uprising.